everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today for you, as you guys can see, we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna be working on making September's monthly newsletter bonus like freebies today. And I thought I would go ahead and film the whole process so you guys could see it. And then if you don't already know, I have a newsletter now, guys. So if you would like to sign up for email newsletters from me, you can. There'll be a link in the description box down below where you can sign up directly. And each month you will at least get one newsletter from me, probably towards the beginning of the month, if not on the first day, where there will be some sort of bonus freebie. Plus from time to time, I actually do like fun little freebie events that come with downloads that you guys can download and participate in. And then other times they'll just be like roundups of what's been happening on YouTube, on the blog. It's just a real big kind of fun mix, like catch up directly with you guys. And I'm really excited about it. I started it in the beginning of the summer, but a whole bunch of things kind of roadblocked me from doing it for a bit, but we are back on track. We are doing this. And today I'm showing the behind the scenes of creating the September freebie. So for September, I wanted to release some fun little like tech wallpapers. So I'm focusing on mobile size wallpapers this month. And if you guys are interested in like desktop or iPad tablet sized wallpapers, do let me know and we will definitely keep that in consideration for future months. But um, as we probably know, I am not the biggest fall fan in the world. So for September, I decided to play on the fact that National Coffee Day is actually this month. It is September 29th. So this month's kind of overall theme for the wallpaper is gonna be coffee, but not like in your face coffee. We're doing it as in the coffee makers, but we're doing the fun kind of like cozy kind. So we've got a French press, we've got the drip kind, and then we also have the, um, I believe it's called a mocha mocha coffee maker, which is often used with um, Cuban coffees and Italian coffees. And that's the one that is like all steamed powered. So that's what we're doing here. I'm actually creating a pattern. And if you have never seen a pattern created before, everybody I feel like does it a little differently. I do mine exclusively in Procreate. So you're gonna see a lot of like weird motions going on on my screen. A lot of flipping things, moving things around and just trying things. It's a lot of trial and error. Plus with this pattern, I decided, you know, I had some ideas of how a pattern could like work differently than the way I've always created them. So I went ahead and gave it a go on camera, which is probably not like my brightest move, but we did it and it worked. So, you know, that's okay. We're gonna go with the flow. Um, you are obviously seeing this in a sped up pace. So if you were looking at this thinking, gosh, she works really fast. This like video full speed, like, video I think is about 50 minutes so definitely know that that is not normal to see 12 minutes of work for one pattern a lot more goes into it also today's pattern in general is a little bit more simplistic than the ones I traditionally do or the ones that I post on Instagram because on Instagram and just in general I like to do more like fully illustrated ones whereas this time I was going for a kind of like monochromatic like thing not full-on illustration think like outlines but bold outlines it's kind of confusing and hard to explain because honestly I don't even know what I would call it but we're playing with it and I'm actually using this really cool tool right here so that's what I wanted to tell you about right here if you are a pattern maker if you use procreate in the app there's not like a great way to like test what the pattern's gonna look like so Lisa Bardo from Bardo Brush actually has a repeating pattern tester so you can actually open that up and drop your image into it so you can kind of see like a test sample of like what the pattern is going to look it kind of lets you know like what empty spaces you need to work out fill in and you can just get like this whole preview before you fully get into your um patterning which is super helpful as you guys can see here i'm like moving things around changing it up filling in empty spaces and just trying to make it look really nice in its sketched stage so whenever i do go in and do the colored edition I'm not like having to rework it a ton and everything like that. This is just all sketching. And whenever we are done, this actually is gonna look very similar to the sketch because like I said earlier, I'm not doing like a majorly illustrated pattern. But yeah, that's sort of my process for patterning is I do a sketch, test it out in Lisa's wonderful pattern tester, which I will go ahead and link down below in case you are also an illustrator that is practicing patterning in Procreate. This is super helpful. 
And then if you're working on an iPad, definitely like the bigger screen iPad, you can pull it up right by right beside you and it makes it super easy to test things out. Also, as you guys can see here, I now pulled up a reference picture because I'm like, okay, I want to add something in that little empty space that we saw. And I was like, mm, coffee beans, but what in the world does a coffee bean look like? Like, I felt like if I just put like this weird oval, it was going to look like a jelly bean or something. So I used the app Unsplash and typed in coffee beans and found a nice little reference picture that was also royalty free so I could use it as a reference picture and kind of fill in that little empty space there. And I really like how that came out and having Unsplash on my iPad is super nice. It allows me to quickly pull up a reference picture and I don't have to worry about like its origin because Unsplash allows you to use their pictures like that. And of course, I'm just referencing the shape and everything. So in general, I could have Googled coffee beans and been okay, but I always like to be error on the side of caution I guess you could say when it comes to reference pictures but that was um super helpful for figuring out how to fill in that little empty space that we saw in the pattern tester there and we're about there so right now I'm actually going to go in into the coloring phase of this so because it is September and people do like fall I decided the main colorway that I was actually going to do this month's wallpaper in was an orange shade which actually works out because I actually do have orange in the normal color palettes that I use in all of my art because it really is really important for like sunset features and things so I'm like okay orange isn't going way out of my comfort zone by any means but this part where I'm doing line work is definitely out of my comfort zone line work is something that I've always had uh, struggles with I guess you could say it used to be like my default go-to way of doing art and then I got so stuck in it that I decided I needed to get it away from it and like never use it but now I brought it back for this piece and in all honesty like I kind of like it but also it doesn't feel 100% me I feel like whenever I'm doing full-on illustrations making it look closer to like the real deal then it feels more like me rather than just line art but I feel like for the purpose and the intentions that I have of this pattern line art is working really really well for this brush wise I am actually using a brush that I modified from a default procreate brush to kind of create one that I use for like coloring sheets and different things so I know it's very smooth and we don't get jaggedy lines for when I'm creating coloring sheets and different things that you have downloaded from time to time most likely and I am just doing it in white, even though I know I am probably not going to keep it white. I am doing all of the line work on a layer above the background color. That way I can actually like change the colorways of this pattern and have multiple options. And if you do sign up for my newsletter, actually, there will be two different color ways that you can actually download these wallpapers in. So we're going to have two patterned versions of the wallpaper different colorways and then we're gonna have um like a solo coffee maker shot for another wallpaper again in two different colorways so in total if you sign up for the newsletter there will be four different variations that you can download for free wallpaper and if you are not already signed up for my newsletter you can do so in the description box below it is free like I said, I don't pop in there a ton. I'm trying to get better at it. We always at least get one email a month and then there will be some fun extra ones coming for holiday seasons and as other things with 25 sweepies it progresses. So I'm really excited about it. But of course, things happen, things get in the way, but I'm trying to get it as consistent as possible. And this month's September newsletter is coming out on September 1st. So if you would like to actually receive that email, you definitely want to sign up before then because it will only go out to the people that are already subscribed on September 1st or prior to September 1st, I should say. So we are almost to the point of getting this done. I am currently still working on the line aspects of it and it's going pretty well I kind of like how this is working um this coffee pot here is called the moco pot I found out which I mentioned earlier in the video I believe um it is of an Italian descent but it is used for like the traditional Cuban coffee you usually do it on a stove top and it's very very strong coffee and it's delicious but I definitely use it for hot coffee rather than cold coffee but I would imagine it would be good either way yeah, now I really want some coffee. Um, this one, I kind of just winged, I won't winged. I kind of just 
went from memory on all of these coffee pots, so they may not be 100% accurate. Definitely this one. The French press, I feel like, is pretty accurate because I use French press every day. So I feel like I kind of got that one down. But this was kind of fun to do a coffee thing. So I don't know if I already mentioned this, but September 29th is National Coffee Day. So in case you want to prepare or have a special fun or drink extra coffee, you've got a special reason to do it this month on the 29th because every day should be National Coffee Day. Um... I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I really wanted to say about this illustration. I think that is it. We're going to be finishing this up. We're going to look at the different colorways. I'll show you the examples of the wallpapers that you will get if you sign up for the email. And that is it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Be sure to keep watching to see all the different colorways. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to the emails. They'll be linked down in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you want to, you can skip to about the 12 minute marker and you will get to see the final patterns. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. And here we have the different colorways. I told you guys I would show them. I feel like these came out really fun. I feel like they would actually be really fun like on an actual like coffee packaging bag or something to that extent. So be sure to sign up for my emails before September 1st if you want to receive these free wallpapers. They'll be available in your email on September 1st. You guys can download them and use them up for personal use. And I think that wraps it up. So again, thank you for watching. Definitely for watching all the way through this video. And I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.